So we're going to find the volume and surface area for Hans and Anna's rabbit cages and turtle aquarium. And it gave us the dimensions of the turtle aquarium, but all it told us about Anna's rabbit cage is that it's double the size of Hans. So we're talking about the side lengths have been doubled. So if we look at Hans, let's go ahead and look at those labels right here. 21 by 22 by 12. Let's go ahead and draw his. Alright, so this is Khan's rabbit cage. So we'll just uh, put in those values. We've got a 21 by 22. These are inches, by the way. By 12 inch. And to find the volume, that's not too bad. We just take all of these values and multiply them. 21 times 22 times 12. Since, oh, this is a turtle aquarium. And when we do that, 5,544 inches cubed. Now that's just his volume, though. So we can find the surface area as well. Let us take a gander at this. So the first off, we see that there are six sides to this. We have a front, and we have a back. We have a left and a right side, or faces. And we have a top and a bottom. If we can just figure out the surface area of all of these, then we just add them together and we have the surface area. So let's start with the front, which would be this face right account. And I'll draw it all up in here, like this. It's a 21 by 22 rectangle. So when I multiply those two, I get my surface area for the front is 462 square inches. And the back would match that because it's a rectangular prism. Next, let's go to the left and the right side. So I'm just going to shade in this part right here. Just to show that that is the face we are solving for. And if I draw it <coughs> up here like this, I got a 12 by 21 rectangle, which would be 252 square inches. So the right side matches that as well. Now let's look at the top and the bottom, which is this face right here. And to find the surface area for that, I'm just going to draw that rectangle. I got 22 by 12. 22 times 12 is 264 square inches, and the back matches that. So to find the surface area, I just need to add all these together. 1,956 square inches. And uh, yeah, that was the front side right here. Okay. Well, we have the volume and surface area. Let's go and write that in, by the way. 1,956 square inches. If your units are off on the test, just know you're going to be losing some points. Now, we could just apply the scale factor on this one, which is actually what I'm going to do just to save us a little bit of time. But if you wanted to draw it like we did on the previous example, you could do that as well. Just know that we're going to multiply, or you would have to multiply, each of these values by 2. So 21 times 2. So the new length would be 42. 22 times 2 is 44. And 12 times 2 is a 24. So it would be a 42 by 44 by 24 inch rabbit cage. But we don't need that stinking garbage. We can just use the scale factors. Since it's doubled, uh, it's going to change the scale factor on these. So let's take a look at how that works. So the scale factor is what you multiply each of the side lengths by to get this new length, width, and height. And since it's doubled, we're multiplying each of Hans's dimensions by 2. Now, the way this affects the area scale factor, and we kind of looked at that on the previous example, area scale factor for this one right since it's double one of these faces would fit right here in this square right there and I'll shade it in that one so there's four of those so really it's just taking the scale factor which is two and squaring it and that is our area scale factor four 
In other words, if I take Hans's surface area, which is 1956, and I multiply it by 4, I will have Anna's surface area as well. So I'm going to do that, and I get Anna's surface area is 7,824 square inches. All right, the next thing we got after the area scale factor, I'm recording right now, by the way. Recording for what? For the video. Hello, Canvas people. All right, the volume scale factor, as we can see by the way that we've chopped this piece up like these, is uh, if we take the original block or prism, we could fit eight of them into it. And the, re the reason why it is eight is because it's the scale factor for the dimensions, which is two. But now, since it's three-dimensional, we cube that, and we get eight which is why we can multiply the volume by 8. Uh, what was the volume of this one? It was uh, 5544. If we multiply this by 8, we'll get the same volume as if we were to multiply 42 by 44 and 24. And that is, and I get 44,352. And this is in inches cubed for the volume. Alright, so I went ahead and wrote in those for the volume and the surface area, which we found right here. The next question, so the scale factor for Hans is, what do we multiply Hans's, uh, I guess his surface area by to get the new surface area for Anna? Well, we multiplied it by 4. And the volume scale factor, we multiplied the volume by 8 to get Anna's volume. Next, we need Anna's volume. So what will we multiply Anna's by to get Hans's aquarium? Well, we're just going to reciprocate both of these. And then we have her scale factor to get to Hans. That's it. That's the entire question. That took a long time, but it is done. We can look back, Radical. We found the area scale factor, Radical, and the volume scale factor like this. Now that's for Hans. That's what we multiplied Hans's dimensions by to get the new volume and surface area. Uh, but we just reciprocate, reciprocate those to know what we need to multiply Anna's by to get Hans's volume and surface area.